Now, if I were an apologist, I would totally explain oral traditions. As an example, I would explain that many of the details of the Exodus story might be a garbled memory of the Santorini volcano eruption, which was about 4,000 years ago. An eruption certainly would have caused a tsunami, and the people possibly remembered the sea drawing out and then rushing back in. Not to mention a pillar of smoke by day and fire by night. Plagues would have come after the eruption, as ash rained down and contaminated the Nile as well. And to add, the Egyptians did have a habit of taking small groups of foreigners hostage, and it's quite possible some of those hostages took advantage of the confusion caused by the eruption to bolt for home. Coming back to reality, remember this was possibly five families and a goat, not a cast of 600,000 as portrayed by the Bible. But the apologist would continue. The really interesting thing is that there is a character in the Egyptian records who may well be the biblical Joseph. This character was a high-ranking official who was a foreigner and who was known as the father of the Pharaoh. He was the father-in-law of Akhenaten, and if he was indeed a Jew, he might have been the one who inspired Akhenaten with the idea of monotheism. His name was Yuya, rather than Yusuf, and he lived about 250 years after the Santorini event. The stories that became the Old Testament were passed down by word of mouth for many centuries, before they were written down. It is possible that a lot of broken fragments of real information made it through. And then the scribe who finally wrote them down tried to knit them together into a coherent story. And you know what? I can even buy into this reasoning. But I add one more time, this is not the way it is portrayed in the Bible. And the Bible is considered the inerrant word of God. Just a thought. What do you think? Thanks for watching.